Blessings. Happy Saturn's Day. Saturday to you all. Love uh, a wonderful weekend so far. You have to be conscious. You have to be aware of your thoughts, your feelings, your emotions. If someone passes, you have the right to mourn and grieve. If you have a bad breakup or a divorce or have a falling out with someone, you have a right to feel regret, remorse. Even the wanting of reconciliation. The title to this video is Where Is Your Mind Going? because we actually have to stay very focused and concentrate on where our thoughts are going at any given moment. Being mindful, some say. Others just flow. They go through that, you know, that by and by and allowing their emotions to take them wherever or however it sees fit. The ancient alchemists, the mental alchemists, Hermeticists, the they train in being mindful. They trained in knowing I guess the, the five <clears throat> excuse me, uh, the five core values or the five core things that you should uh, really, on a daily basis, be focusing on. And the universe, as we know now, has our back, even though it may not feel that way. You may be feeling like all the, all the good in the world has been sucked out of your life or that you may have bad luck or just you, do, you begin to feel or you're constantly feeling like uh, the cards aren't being dealt in your favor. Well, there's a truth to that, and then there's something else. Good morning. Uh, the truth is where your mind is. 
is going. I mean, when you first wake up, are you focusing on positivity, contribution, love, compassion, empathy, sympathy, while everyone else is just reacting like a tiger in the wild. You see, you have a choice. <laughs> you also have free will, which a lot of animals in our kingdom don't have. Know that sometimes it's difficult to comprehend how you know, how people just react and speak hurtful, hateful words. honesty some people are actually paid to do that and they're money driven well sooner or later they find out pretty quickly that or over time that that just doesn't work Patch Adams said it best in the, uh, the dorm room of his roommate. He said, the funny part is that you, th you think that being mean and a bad person, <coughs> excuse me, is a new concept truth is, it's not. It seems to me that the new concepts are the total opposite. It's been so long since we have activated this essence of, of growth, of yearning to find the truth. Always questioning and wanting to know the answers to things that sometimes there's no answers for. The fact is, well, it's all in our hands, but it's also all in the divine's hands as well. That's based on what we, um, you know, what we send out, what we, uh, what we speak specifically. You have to, you know, if, if you are one who keeps living same way over and over again and you just feel like there's like an itch that can't be scratched or a desired thing or experience that you should be living daily then you should be living the doubt and the disbelief and the self-consciousness, the lack of self-confidence, the just the very form, the very power is within you, within all of you. 
sometimes you settle. Now settling, settling doesn't mean that that's it. Settling doesn't mean that there is nothing better. Good question. You know, Marie is asking, what is the cause of lack of confidence? Well, here's what I know. I know that confidence in itself is the transmutation of fear into fire. Transmuting this energy. Transmuting fear into fire. Turning what you're afraid to do because you don't know how people are going to react. You don't know how people are going to feel about what you're doing. Um, and also a fear that you are going to fail in whatever it is that you choose that you're going to do. Now, I have to tell you this, that there are going to be times in life that you are fearful about the things that produce the best results in your life. Again, the best results in your life. The reason why there would be a lack of confidence is because you don't really know the outcome. You don't know how things are going to unfold, whether or not they are going to change the very fabric of your reality. But maybe that's a good thing. Maybe that is exactly what you need. Sometimes we stop ourselves from, here's an example, stop ourselves from being an artist or a painter, a singer, a dancer, any kind of artist per se. And it's mostly because they don't know the outcome. But to get past all that, you have to know in, in the deepest parts of yourself that you are living your passions. Some people don't even know what their passions are. Some people think they know what their passions are, but they're afraid of them because they're entirely different from what they're living now. Or it could be so much of a shift, again, the fear of change, that that fear stops them from being who they need to be you need to be. I have to tell you that I am walking this journey with you. We all are. Each and every single one of us. Each and every single one of you. Exactly to self. Know you are leaving in the depth of your passions. Do not fear change. 
Know that change can be uncomfortable. Know that change can be emotional. But know that change can also be magical. It's miraculous. See, we've spent so much time, I have too, that's why I say we, not you, I'm blaming you for it, but I say we, because I am also included. We've talked ourselves out of so many things, because we think that we're not worthy of the treasures that come after it. Oh, well, the truth is, is that after all the, the passing of loved ones, all the breakups, all the being fired from work or quitting a job, or, you know, being evicted from your home or apartment or house or having to live in the streets and alleyways and, you know, li living out of trash cans, literally. I know that there are still good things out there for me. And there's still very amazing things out there for you. I cannot tell you how many times I li have literally dropped down to my knees or sat down at the stoop somewhere and cried because I have absolutely, at that moment, no clue as to how life is going to end up next. I always believed, and I guess this was my, my devotion and my faith, was that there must be something better for me than poverty. Poverty explained very aptly as such. Living below your own standards. Poverty happens when you start blaming other people for where you are. Poverty also starts happening when you feel, again, you're not worthy enough. And everyone, all of you, deserving of all good things in life. Just because a few bad things happen in your life doesn't mean that bad things are always going to happen. That's totally not the case. But again, your mind, the very core of your mind, doesn't believe it because of repetition negative repetition creates a shift into destructive ideologies. When is it time to not be that way? When is it time just to take what you've learned, what you've experienced, and bring positive light into the world. No matter how many crappy people are out there, there, and trust me, there are going to be crappy people. It's a balance, balancing the scales. But it's your choice. It's your choice whether or not to embrace those people. Uh, your choice to 
uh, to help and assist those people as much as you can. It is your universal right to be part of something bigger. I see certain things in repetition all the time. Social media. Sorry about the flickering if that's happening. Why? I don't know. Maybe I have my uh, settings too high. I just want to know if this is super clear. If it is, I'll drop it down a little. Uh, I'm, I'm setting lower in frames. When is it your time? I mean, seriously. I have said that to myself, I don't even know for how long. And, and finally I am. I feel good about it. And that's what you, you have to do. You have to feel good about what you do. You have to feel not just okay. Okay just means, eh, all right. Okay. Thank you. I mean, this is literally time to bring about change in a world that seems to be filled with chaos seems to be filled with chaos. But the chaos doesn't have to continue. It doesn't have to. We can always bring the balance of serenity and harmony within chaos. We can bring it in, we can become it, we can be it. We can project it, we can receive it. We can. like that. Note, feel good about what you do, not just okay. Right. I have these beautiful, which I'm going to be shipping out soon, actually, um, these beautiful pieces of artwork, which some of them I have to still finish this weekend. But even in the perfections of imperfection, I enjoy them. I begin to integrate with that feeling of loving what I do. Being able to share with other people the love that I have for what I do. This time in life should be a time where I mean we bring we bring things to light. Just like in the times of the plague and 9-11 and Desert Storm and all these other horrendous acts of human faculty. When we start deciding to when you start deciding to live in the light and the love of what it is that you're really supposed to do, nothing will ever feel the same ever again. Here you are watching this, listening to this whatever you choose, curious as to what to do in order to, or 
what it is that you're supposed to be doing. Some people. Not everybody. Just some of you. Maybe you're doing something a uh, minimal amount of your time, and but you're loving every minute of it. And you want to do it more, but you're afraid because the money's not there. fact is, is that you could say it so many ways, you know, you could say money flows where positivity goes, you can go, you can say positivity flows where energy grows, I mean, there's so many ways of saying it, but the fact is a lot of people don't know how to give themselves the opportunity for exposure. Exposure. Being able to put yourself out there for you, for those you care about, for those who you think might care about you, or those that do. Sometimes we'll never know who who really cares. Sometimes people care at a di- at, you know they care at a distance. Some say that they do, and it's only pacification. It could be the uh, fair weather t- sort of situation. You know, a, a friend or loved one of convenience, which I'm hoping that that's not the case for any of you. But I have had my experience of fair weather friends. I've had my experience of fair weather loved ones as well. It is not comfortable. It is toxic in a sense. Especially where when you're the one not seeing myself of course but when, when you're the one that truly wants to or just because you want it doesn't mean that you'll get it but you know that truly wants something better for every amount of the word uh, the truth is I'm speaking for myself. I am a leader. I am a king of my own kingdom. I had a couple of people just the other day ask me, how can you have so much confidence? I want to reach to, you know, to have that confidence. Honestly, I would say that it begins with believing in yourself. Believing in what you can do and that you're good at it. It's like I'm good at talking, for instance. It's what I do. I do it a lot. So, why not be good at it, right? As you can tell, I haven't said um in a while. Getting myself out of that routine. Being able to think on my feet more so than most. Ultra aware of what I'm thinking, what I'm sensing, what I'm feeling what I send out there. The greatest life that you've ever wanted, which most people, I mean, it's pretty simple, really. I mean, most people, they they want 
a very select few things. I mean, they, you know, uh, almost all of us. You know, some people don't want relationships, of course. Why? Because they've been through, a, you know, a bunch of, of horrible things, you know, horrible experiences. And, you know, they think twice about having a relationship with someone, which is, t which is totally fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But uh, the, w the one thing that's true, that stands true, is that you might be blocking yourself from... From really having what you want. I mean, that's. Sometimes we just have to be able to wait it out and see how it goes. But most of the time, we can, we can choose. We can choose to think a certain way. We can choose to be a certain way. We can choose to shift our very emotional, you know, our, our emotional construct, or right at that that split second, and say no. Say, no, I am not going to feel this way. Okay, I had a breakup. All right, fine, you know. It, it feels crappy, but, you know, I'm, I'm, I will get over it. You know, this is something I need to give myself time. And, I, you know, I need to heal from this. And, or, you know, something bad happened to me. Okay, well, I have to give myself time. Not a whole lot of time, because if you take up too much time, you're wasting time. That's the truth. Because time is something you don't get back. We get older and older and older, and that, that's just how it is. I mean, that's, you know, that, that's that's life. As time progresses, we get older, and then we start looking at things, and we start saying, wow, you know, I haven't been able to do that yet. I, I haven't been there yet. You know, I, like myself, I would, I would love to be able to go to Egypt and to go to Stonehenge and, you know, see the Blarty Stone and, and you know, and, and go to, go see the Druids and, you know, see my ancient cultures of the, the, the Taino, you know, that Taino tribe, the Taino, sorry. I would. I would love it. That would be great. It would, I would be leaving a legacy, okay? And the thing is, is that, what legacy are you leaving? Like, what, what is it? Are you just living by and by? I mean, is there no purpose? Is there no, uh, is there no, literally, is there no journey? Is there no path? Is there no outcome? Is there no goal? Think about that. The universe has massive goals for you, but yeah, you just, you just, just, you know, hey, flying at the seat of your pants is cool sometimes. You know, being being flighty is fine, no, or not necessarily being in fight or flight, but actually being, you know, in flow is great. But when it, when it comes to being in the autopilot routine of what you're comfortable in doing, sometimes that creates more barriers than it does open doors yes what legacy are you leaving for your kids for your grandkids for humanity for for the masses i mean you have things to talk about you have things to discuss you have things that you feel and you have to be able to express them openly don't think that everything and everyone is trying to censor you. I mean, yes, it may seem that way on social media and stuff and the fact checkers and all that. But the fact is, if you're still living your purpose, who cares? If you're still living your, you know, if you're still living in the essence of your passions, it doesn't matter. As long as it's not negative or it causes harm or, or it debases or slanders someone else in some way, shape, or form. I mean, the, the passions... <laughs> energy glitches okay I mean the, the passions and the purposes are mainly because they're there because we're supposed to be doing them what are you doing what do you love I literally had about five people over the last couple months tell me that they have absolutely no idea no idea what their purpose is why isn't there stuff that you love to do isn't there stuff that you were good at when you were younger? Most of the time, I'm talking to people that are older. Sometimes even older than me. You know, 42 years old. Okay. So don't don't you have goals? I mean, isn't there things you want to reach? Things you want to do? Okay. Maybe you got those degrees. Maybe you got those certifications. Maybe you you helped all these people. Maybe you saved somebody's life. Maybe you help somebody get through a grieving process or something. But were you good at it? 
were you good at it? And if you and if you are, then that's part of your purpose. That is part of what you're supposed to be doing. Where is your mind going? I don't know necessarily what's going to happen to, with these sermons. I have no idea. Maybe there's only one or two people that are listening. Maybe there's 20, 20,000 people that are going to listen. I have no idea. But I'm here to produce results. I'm here to produce results. What do you want to do? Where are you allowing your mind to go? Where, what are you thinking about? Are you constantly thinking about the past? Stop that shit. The past is just going to keep beating you up. The past ain't waiting for you. What, the, what was, the, was the phrase that I loved hearing all the time? The past isn't... Oh yeah, what did I say? The past isn't waiting for you. I, f- I forget what it was. Ah, it's on the tip of my tongue too. There's no reason to live in the past because yesterday isn't waiting for you. No reason to live in the past because yesterday isn't waiting for you. It's already gone. I mean, the time has come to to look at life and see it for what it truly is. Stop questioning what you're supposed to be doing and do it. Don't be afraid. Don't worry about what other people have to say or do or or act or react or their words. There's too many people in this millennial environment that are just get butthurt over each and every single thing. Each one of us lives our own purpose and our own passions in certain ways. Just like Eminem. Eminem speaks his mind. I mean, he, he flows lyrics like effortlessly yes some of them are bad words some of them are curse words some of them are belligerent some of them are even negative in in context but there's a reason behind why he does it and the fact is he's so passionate about it that's why he's so good at it that's why that's why other people no offense to the other you know to the other celebrities okay no offense to them but that's one of the reasons why a lot of celebrities fail and and they don't go back to what to what they were doing because for some reason, it's, it's not effortless. It's not a flow. And, I mean, they find something else. Uh, some actresses, they turn writers. You know, some uh, motivational speakers, they become authors. You know, and do ebooks and novels. And, okay, all right, well, that's okay. That's fine. That's because they, they, you know, they found their purpose. You can't change the past. Okay. But you can change the future and stop repeating the past. That's the truth. Or at least that should be the truth. Sitting here and <laughs> looking, I didn't even do one thing. Anyone that sees this, they're looking to support the show. I know this is going to happen a little ways down the road. You know, all I did was post a pinned comment for donations. You guys want to send anything, you know, to help me, you know, to show your support and help me, you know, see how, how much it helps you, how much it helps changes the very fabric of your universe. Feel free and do so. It's just paypal.me forward slash my name, Robert ES. Paypal.me forward slash R O B R O B E R T V I L C H E S. Every little bit helps. 
This is the first time of many. Second time, actually. Second time I'm doing this. Tell me, what, tell me the subjects you want me to speak about. Tell me the tr challenges, troubles in your life. I'll do videos on it. I'll help you get past it. I'll help you energetically, alchemically shift the very nature of your reality. You can change your path in a great way moving forward. You can. Anybody can. They just have to believe that, that it can happen. And then you got to find a way. Once you're, even if you feel like you're at your lowest point, even if you feel you're at your lowest point, the only direction is up from there. So rise up. Become the best version of yourself. Take into consideration that things don't necessarily have to be the way that you feel like they should be. Believe it can happen and find a way. So until next time, folks, I wish you the very best on your path. Anyone that wishes to get my assistance, I'm open and available. I love helping people. I really, really do. But are you ready to help yourself? If you are, you know where to find me. The page is facebook.com forward slash the psychic raven you can also find me under the uh, the title the evolutionary alchemist if you have any subjects any discussion topics you want me to speak upon let me know I'm here for you and I'm here to serve Blessings to you all. Love and light. Namaste. Be humble. Be blessed. Live in the vibration of love. And take care of each other. Love and light, guys.